hadn't done this one in a long time. I did this in Washington, and I enjoyed playing it, so I'm going to do it tonight. And it's also on the uh, on the the, um, the disc. <clears throat> we'll just refer to that as the disc, so I don't have to dig around in my subconscious and keep pulling the name. Um, this was a tune that was, uh, I guess you'd say it was kind of a recompense for my participation in the Wyoming Jackrabbit Massacre of 1972, of which I was an unwilling participant. And I used to tell people this story, and no one, be no one believed me, you know, that there was any such thing. And I was playing in San Luis Obispo this last fall, and some people came up and they went, wow. We were in Montana. We know all about the Wyoming Jackrabbit Massacre of 1972. Uh, in fact, it was the Wyoming uh, Montana Jackrabbit Massacre. And they said every so many years uh, on the, in the Great Plains there, the jackrabbits just multiply. They, they take far too literally go forth and multiply. And uh, they become, they're like locusts. It becomes a plague. And uh, the folks in Montana have their own way of dealing with it, kind of like... Uh, the same techniques they use for baby seals, but I won't go into it. Um, but in Wyoming, I mean, uh, the highways take care of the problem. And uh, it's, you know, they just come, they came streaming across as like Night of the Living Dead or something. And there's, what are you gonna do? You know, there's the, you can't pull off the road. There's nothing there. The, 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 the shoulders are hardly there at all. And so, you know, I just thump, 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 you know, and I'm just. <laughs> You know, oh, the horror, you know. <laughs> and uh, gosh, it was, I felt so bad. I even slowing down didn't work because they, you know, didn't make any difference. So I made it to Little America, Wyoming, where they, where, where I, you know, the world's largest gas station, you know, 105 gas pumps and lifts and ice cream and all sorts of things, which I didn't feel like at the time. They had it up on the lifts, but they removed the, these poor tiny creatures from my wheel wells and tie rods. And um, boy, I'll tell you, it was up there for four hours. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I wrote this piece kind of to shake out my karma bags. The name of the song is called Red Meat on the Road. Oh. 